You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for Wild Comfrey, Cynoglossum virginianum. Wild Comfrey makes its first appearance in the spring. Although it is native to significant portions of North America, it has been noted as endangered or extirpated in many regions. Here's a young plant in mid-spring. This young plant does not have as many leaves as the previous plant. After establishing the primary set of leaves for the year, wild comfrey begins to grow a flower stalk from the center. This central stalk has leaves along its height, with a set of flowers at the top. Here's another wild comfrey plant with its developing inflorescence at the top of the central stalk. Here's an overall view of the wild comfrey plant with blooming flowers rising above the leaves. Let's shift our point of view for the inflorescence. Since the flowers are difficult to distinguish from the background leaf litter, this image shows them against the green leaves. This inflorescence, which is the arrangement of the flowers on the flower stalk, is referred to as a corymb. These images show the corymbose flower arrangement. And a view from above, looking down onto the inflorescence. You probably noticed that not every flower blooms at the same time within the inflorescence. In this photo, we can see various stages of flower development. There's an unopened flower bud, flowers with petals beginning to spread open, along with fully opened flowers, and flowers which have been fertilized and are now becoming seed pods. The wild comfrey flowers are a light blue or almost white color. Let's look at the shape of the corolla. See how the petals are connected and deeply lobed with what looks like an indentation between the petals. Look at the flower's peduncle, its stalk. Did you notice the many hairs covering the peduncle? Those hairs go all the way down the central stalk and along the stalk between its leaves and down to the base of the wild comfrey plant. The hairs are also on the leaf petioles and on the wild comfrey leaves. Wild comfrey's leaves are oval and have a petiole. The leaf margins are entire, they have smooth edges. The leaf venation pattern is pinnate. Initially, the leaf arrangement consists of a basal rosette. As wild comfrey grows its central stalk, the leaves alternate and clasp the stalk. The underside of the leaves is a lighter green color. The central vein is prominent. About two weeks after flowering, the wild comfrey plant has progressed to making seed pods. Just like the flowers along the flowering stalk, the seed pods along the central stalk can be challenging to see within the surrounding vegetation. Each wild comfrey inflorescence now consists of the final blooming flowers at the end of the peduncle, along with flowers converting to seed pods. Let's have a closer look at each of these. First, the flower at the end of the peduncle. We can see the fused petals which form a tube, which is surrounded by the sepals. Just below it is a flower which has already bloomed and is closing up. Next, we have a fertilized flower with its style still visible in the center and with four developing round seed pods around the style. Further down the peduncle are seed pods surrounded by the hairy flower sepals which are filling out, becoming larger, growing a bristly covering. A couple weeks later, the entire peduncle is now a long stalk with many green seed pods. Later in the summer, the seed pods have fully matured and turned brown. 
the central stalk also turns brown and stiff. The leaves are looking a bit worn. Late summer leaves still exhibit small hairs along the stem, petioles, and leaf blades. The seeds are dispersed and leaves die back during the fall and winter, all in preparation for next year's spring growth. This is Angelin. Thank you for watching and learning about Cynoglossum virginianum, also known as wild comfrey. Visit identifythatplant.com for more images of wild comfrey, for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.